Louisiana Beer Reviews recorded at the Thern Supermarket, Laplace, Louisiana. Today we're looking at Ten Roofs Parade Ground Coffee Porter, introduced in 2013. Uh, left my notes at home, but I'll post details down there. It's about 7% alcohol. It's uh, <coughs> brewed with a variety of malts, including pale, chocolate, coffee, two types of hops, and they add two different coffee blends to it. Um, I've never had it, and this is the first video review for this beer in the world. Uh, Ten Roofs has been around a few years. They're located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You can see they have some other ones there. Watermelon Wheat, their Blonde Ale, their original one, Perfect Ten Amber Ale, and Voodoo Bingo Pale Ale. Uh, let's see what I was going to say. Oh, when they, when they originally started, they were working with Louisiana State University in Baton Rouge, and they were going to call this LSU Tiger Ale, and it was going to be part of an LSU program for uh, fermentation science, but then some people decided that would encourage uh, students to drink alcohol, so they canceled it. LSU reluctantly pulled out of it, although they were interested in doing it. So they had to, they kept the purple and gold, but they just called it uh, Blonde Ale. Okay, uh, I've had some other coffee beers before. They were okay. I don't know how this one's going to be. There were about 27 reviews on Beer Advocate. They said it was very good. Uh, Rate Beer only had seven ratings, so it wasn't enough. You have to have 10 on there for it to be an official score. But I was looking down, scrolling down, and uh, the scores were mostly positive. Um, so this was, the, like I said, the first video review for this. So I'm curious to see what it's like. Uh, Tin Roof puts all their stuff in cans and on draft. They don't have bottles yet. put it in this little tasting glass and see what we get. Um, it's a thin beige head. I think it would be thicker on a taller glass. And the appearance is old brown. Yep, just a standard brown. Like when you think of the color brown, that's, that's it. And it's, it would be clear if it wasn't, you know, so dark. I mean, it's not hazy or anything. And, um, I see bubbles clinging around the side. I don't really see bubble streams, but I see bubbles clinging around. Let's go with the aroma on this interesting thing. Uh, sweet malts. Um, I would say some faint coffee, not an overwhelmingly strong coffee aroma. Some bread crust. Well, it smells like a porter. You know what? You know what they smell like. A mildly dark ale. Okay. More of the coffee's coming through here. You get the dark bread crust, the, the dark roasted malts, and you get the coffee. But it's a smooth coffee. Um, it's not harsh in any way. There's a creaminess to it, a delicate, delicate nature to it. Nice lacing, huh? A um, little bit of prickliness in the tongue from the carbonation. Not a lot, but a little bit. The mouthfeel is on the light side, okay? I would not even say medium. It's just a light body. And um, the finish is pretty dry. It's uh, very easy drinking here at 7.45 in the morning. <laughs> 7.45, excuse me, 6.45 in the morning. Um, and it's pretty refreshing. Now, I already had three cups of coffee at home, and um, I would say this is a nice compliment to them. This is, uh, if I'm going to drink a flavored beer, I think and I'm not too keen on that, but if I was going to drink a flavored beer, this might be one to have because it's got the coffee in it. I like coffee. I like beer. Uh, it's not too bitter. Uh, the bitterness is not strong here. 
not picking up the seven seven percent alcohol. So um, I would like to see him make a coffee and chicory order. You know, <laughs> one with coffee and chicory. That'd be interesting. But but um, anyway, I think this is very very nice. Um, I'm gonna give it. I'm going to give it an A-. I think it is excellent to an extent. It is worth checking out. I mean, uh, $8.99, a six-pack, um, that's not too bad. So, you know, some of these craft beers are getting out of control with their prices, and there's going to be a it's going to be a shakeout, I think, with that. But anyway, Les Les Bontemps Roulet, this is an excellent beer. Check it out if you see it. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to Mathurns and check out their very large and interesting beer selection.